Hello everyone. So today I will try to show one little example about get proc address spoofing. Now, if you know, now quite often, um, well, legitimate use of this function could be to load up, uh, I mean, not to load up, to get the handle to the module and resolve a function dynamically. Um, like in this case, for instance. Now, if you look at this little uh, code snippet, so what you see what we're doing, we load this library and then we call get proc address on the handle that this library just returned us and we ask for this function. Now, if you look at get uh, proc address, let me do this real quick. If we go to msdn, it's just literally just uh, the, the function that can retrieve uh, export a function pointer in, in some library. So it needs the module, and that's the module where the function is uh, located, and also that's the function name. So that's how Windows API static are statically linked. Uh, usually when you would write your program, you would just write it like this, right? You would do this and do handle and, you know, so you wouldn't be writing it like this. Now, there are some legitimate cases why you would want to do this, but quite often malware is using this kind of approach because it, well, it can obfuscate things. Like for instance, you know, it's not just this call, which would be in the import table for the module. Uh, but if you don't link it like this, it will be a little bit more complicated for the person to, uh, for the malware researcher um, to actually see what's going on here. So, um, so yeah, if we run this code, let me just build it real quick <coughs> and step through it. So right here, we got the pointer right to the, to the address, to this function. And if you can see, I'm calling this set console mode. Now, let me just look it up real quick. Uh, again, I'm using MSDN. So as you see, this is just totally benign, innocuous function that just sets the input mode for the console. And the console is like this, you know, like command line, for instance, that's the console. So it is definitely not a secure function or security function. So no uh, malware researcher would ever look at it like something that, that can create a, uh, uh, you know, a dangerous precedent here. So as you can see, it takes the console handle and then it takes the mode. It basically says like, hey, like don't do the echo, don't like, you know, like put like insert mode and kind of like mouse input and all this stuff. So it's definitely not something that will uh, bring the attention of security researchers. So as you can see here, I'm calling it in kind of a weird way. I'm passing it some pointer to something and then something else. So obviously when I call it like this, the result will be false and nothing happens. Now, if you look at, um, let's do the, uh, let's look at the assembly. So if I build it as release and run it, so let me switch to assembly. So as you can see what happens, first the load library function loads kernel 32 and we get the pointer right here in RAX. Now the next call is the call to get proc address that will resolve set console mode, you know, that same function. And as you can see, if I do RBX, it is indeed set console mode. There is no, no spoof here. And it does, you know, gets us the pointer, which is RAX. And then right here, we're calling that function by invoking the call RAX and we get zero. So nothing happened. The program works quite nicely. Well, let's see what happens if we, let's say in the beginning, the malware called this little function here. So just do it like this and we call it. Let me, let me show you the code here. Again, the exact same scenario. Load library returned, you know, uh, our handle to kernel 32 we 
called getProc address. It resolved to a function. And <clears throat> right here, call RAX. But see what happened. I literally got a calculator. And if you look at the result, it's not just zero. So that didn't fail. So now, guys, I'm recording it in a multi-monitor setup, so you don't see the, the calc actually popping up in this screen. So let me just run it. Let's see if that happens. Oh, here we go. You just saw it. So um, yeah, so basically, this little spoof that can be called in the beginning of the, of the startup of the module can literally spoof this into this. Now I will explain all the details how this works in my blog post, so I'll, I'll show a link so I will spare you all the details, but just kind of I wanted to show this for malware researchers that you can't just rely on whatever get proc address returns. Because again, I'm not spoofing, let me show you real quick. Uh, if we get to um, the actual address, you see like in here in RDX, the address of the parameter, I am passing set console mode. So it's the same parameter. You see like it, so all the, all the call parameters for this function are exactly as you would expect. But the return, the RAX that it returned is actually get, is actually for WinExec. And what I've done here, I uh, like these two parameters, this thing here is basically uh, calc. So if we go, let me just run it one more time. Uh, the way I could obfuscate it is uh, right here. So RCX, in, the, in my case, is the word calc. And RDX is the parameter one, which is the parameter for um, WinExec. And WinExec is a very old Windows function. So you see the first is a command line, so we're passing calc right here. And the second one is the show command, which is just basically says, hey, show, uh, let's see if we do one, let's see where is one, just show normal. So anyway, just this little thing for security researchers, so make sure that you uh, check all the stuff, check the pointer, what it's pointing to, and get proc address returns. So thank you very much and see you next time.